Hey everybody, time for Max's mission. While this is airing on Sunday, we are taping on Thursday, so it's a little rainy. That's why Max is looking a little washed out today. It's not his favorite thing. So we're inside at the Franklin County Dog Shelter meeting with Fuzzy Paws Shih Tzu Rescue, and we are going to meet two really sweet dogs that I can't wait to introduce you to. All right, let's get to it, bud. Today we are featuring Bam Bam and Murray. Each very special, of course, in their own right. Tell us a little bit about them. Bam Bam is a five-year-old Maltese who came in. He was an owner who couldn't from, from an owner who mm -hmm. couldn't keep their dog anymore. And he's done great in rescue. And he would be best in a home where somebody has maybe a little Maltese experience that they're used to their mm -hmm. their quirks and their and their um, ability to win everybody over. He loves to be on your lap. He loves to go for walks and car rides. He's five years old mm -hmm. and he's not real fond of little kids, but he absolutely loves men. Interesting. And yeah, he, he does. He's, he's really enjoying to be around men and, and gravitates toward them quite a lot. He's got an award-winning smile. He does. <laughs> he does. And he's a happy boy. He just, he just wants to have a lap to sit on. Perfect. And he's a small dog, so he's perfect for it. Now, Murray. Murray is so sweet. Murray is very sweet. He came in from the Franklin County Dog Shelter in July, and both of his eyes were damaged and had to be removed. So he is completely blind, but he's the happiest boy. He wants to be on your lap and, and just be loved on. And he prefers a quieter home, of course, but he does very well without vision. He was blind when we got him, so. The amazing thing is that he just, his other senses are enhanced and he seems to be able to make his way around okay. Absolutely. He um, does walk slowly and, and mm -hmm. uh, definitely wants to smell and, and hear very, you know, to, to make his way. But he loves, he loves kids. He loves to sit around kids um, when they, you know, read to him and, mm -hmm. uh, do those kind of things. He's he definitely wants to be a lap dog and, and, and have a home like that. Right. He would need some calmer kids, a lower energy household, but still loves to have attention and, you know, getting around with people and children. Absolutely. He would be great in, in all of those settings. And dogs, as long as they're not super high energy, he would be fine with them in a home as well? Absolutely. As, as long as they kind of give him his space, he's perfectly fine with that. And just in case you've never had a blind animal before, you guys have adopted out several of them because it's just a common thing, an eye issue with Cheat Tzu's. So tell us a little bit, what is your favorite thing about the blind dogs that you've been able to find Forever Homes for? Well, some of them, we've had one a couple years ago, Muttley, that he's now a service dog. And we always like to say that blind dogs see with their heart. And, you know, they, they love their people. I mean, blind is just an obstacle to many, but these guys don't really see it that way. All right, another Max's Mission down. If you want any more info on Max's Mission or Fuzzy Pond Shih Tzu Rescue or two of the dogs that you saw here featured today, just head on over to my Facebook page. You can search at Hattie Hawks NBC4 or head on over to our website, NBC4i.com. Until next week.